in the annals of English history, the year 1586 witnessed a treacherous conspiracy that reverberated through the courts of Elizabeth I. Known as the Babington Plot, this nefarious scheme sought to assassinate the reigning monarch and install Mary, Queen of Scots, on the throne of England. Orchestrated by Anthony Babington and a group of Catholic conspirators, this plot would ultimately shape the course of history in Tudor England. At the heart of the Babington plot lay the turbulent religious and political landscape of 16th-century England. The country was deeply divided along religious lines, with fervent Catholic and Protestant factions vying for supremacy. The Protestant Queen Elizabeth I's rule faced constant threats from Catholic adversaries, including plots to dethrone her and restore Catholicism. Anthony Babington, a fervent Catholic, emerged as the central figure in the conspiracy. His devotion to the Catholic cause and loyalty to Mary, Queen of Scots, propelled him to take a leading role in the plot. Babington's connections with other Catholic conspirators became instrumental in orchestrating the plan to assassinate Queen Elizabeth I. Mary, Queen of Scots, held a precarious position as a Catholic claimant to the English throne. Her imprisonment in England under the watchful eye of Queen Elizabeth I rendered her both a symbol of Catholic resistance and a potential figurehead for rebellious plots. The Babington conspirators sought her endorsement and guidance in their scheme. Central to the Babington plot was a series of encrypted letters exchanged between Babington and Mary, Queen of Scots. These cryptic missives allowed the conspirators to communicate their intentions discreetly. The deciphering of these letters by English authorities played a pivotal role in uncovering the plot. Sir Francis Walsingham, Elizabeth I's astute spymaster, was instrumental in unraveling the conspiracy. His extensive network of informants and codebreakers worked tirelessly to intercept and decode the conspirators' communications. Walsingham's intelligence-gathering efforts proved decisive in exposing the plot. As English authorities intercepted and deciphered the incriminating letters, the Babington plot unraveled. The extent of the conspiracy and the identities of its key members were laid bare. This critical intelligence allowed authorities to prepare for the impending arrests and prevent the assassination. In a swift and decisive move, English authorities apprehended the conspirators. Anthony Babington and his co-conspirators faced trials for treason. The legal proceedings were marked by the gravity of the charges and the inevitability of harsh penalties. The verdict was swift and severe. Anthony Babington and his co-conspirators were found guilty of high treason and condemned to a gruesome fate. Their execution served as a grim reminder of the consequences of plotting against the Crown. The Babington plot left an indelible mark on Tudor England. It underscored the political and religious volatility of the era, highlighting the lengths to which factions were willing to go to advance their cause. The plot's unraveling further solidified the reputation of Sir Francis Walsingham and emphasized the vigilance of the English authorities in safeguarding the realm. Subscribe to my channel if you like these historical videos and click on the top left box for the story of Belfast's Bloody Sunday. Thanks for watching.